In this video, we're going to go over the Kestra or KSGER metal handle upgrades that you can buy for your T12 solder station that you brought from Kestra or KSGER. Here I have the plastic one that came with the station. This one here is the metal handled upgrade that you can get for it. Now the plastic one's actually pretty decent on this one. This one I didn't seem to find any, you know, glaring flaws or anything like that with it got the proper strain relief. They did wire tie it to actual strain relief right here, which I wish the metal one had. The metal one doesn't have the strain relief. And the reason for that is is because the metal one's a little bit shorter, so they would have put this on it and this whole assembly wouldn't have fitted in there. So they actually give you the white plastic one without the strain relief. The problem was when I originally got this was as you can see these wires right here. They were sticking past the strain relief here. Now I already fixed it since then and it's nice and secure now. So what I did was I cut the wires way shorter. I soldered them of course the same way they had a solder. The solder job was fine. I mean it was actually pretty good whoever soldered it. And then I went ahead and put heat shrink. And I put heat shrink a little bit past um, the silicone covering and around this whole thing up to here. And that secured it pretty well, so now I don't gotta worry about this touching the metal body. And also, it's a little bit past here, so you're not putting strain on these wires or the solder connection there. And then I went ahead and tested it. I had to do this twice to get it exactly right. I went ahead and screwed this because you just turned this and screwed this into the actual body, and then. Once you do that, you just slide this whole entire assembly because the actual assembly is screwed onto this part right here into there. And then you screw this down and the whole wire with the assembly should turn. That's how you know you got the right distance. And then I went ahead and secured it down and now the heat shrinks right up to here. And then the wiring's there so it's nice and secure. It doesn't move at all. And I don't got to worry about that breaking loose or anything like that. This one here is pretty good. I like this. I like the weight of it. I do like the size of it and the tip distance to the actual board itself is perfect on this. So I highly recommend you guys buy this handle. You just got to go ahead and check yours and check for any flaws or buy the DIY kit and just do it yourself pretty much. But as far as tips go, they go in nice and smooth. That I didn't have a problem with. You can see I could take that out in there. And push it and it goes right in there and you get a nice click. And then here we're going to put another tip on there. And this one here is actually one of my personal favorite tips this one's a new one all right hold on all right and then we'll put the other tip back that I had in there and there you go and you can hear it click in and it clicks in it goes in pretty nice and smooth and it's nice and tight it's not like it's gonna fall out or anything like that either and then here too and you can see there's no play or nothing like that it's nice and solid I mean it's a really good tip it does get a little warm but doesn't get anything hot or anything like that used and I used it for three hours today so it's a great handle as far as that goes so now I'm gonna go and move the camera up to the monitor so I can show you which handles to avoid because it's two metal handles I would not buy from the site because the design of it's missing the wing that actually right up here and then the other one it has a tendency if you push the actual tip in, it'll push the whole entire guts and assembly up through the back and stuff because they weren't designed properly. So let me go and move the camera up. So this particular version is the one that I would avoid. And the reason why I would avoid it is because if you look at this end right here, there is no ring around it and then it leaves um, more of a tip distance to the actual body or thing where instead of being flush like this, okay it sits somewhat like this so that's why I would avoid that one and the tip doesn't really sit in there really tight I actually tried it it's no good let's go to the next one this is another one I would avoid and the reason why I would avoid it even though it has a nice stainless steel body and a better strain relief is the fact that all the guts as you push this tip in goes out through the back and I have seen people actually complain about it where the back where the strain relief everything tends to come out through the back because it's just literally glued in there or sitting in place so it's not like this other one where it's screwed into the actual top of the base it's actually just literally um, press fit in so that one I would avoid as well 
Here's one of the ones I would buy. This is actually a really good one. This is one of the carbon fiber ones. It's also aluminum alloy. Got a nice strain relief to it. The solder tips tend to go in nicely. I'll actually show you one once I receive it. But, you know, they're, it's pretty much like this black one here. So they're pretty good. This is one of the ones I would actually get. You can get the DIY kit one for about $22. You can also get it from AliExpress too, by the way. Okay, and then here's the other one I would get, which is the one I just showed you that I have right now, even though it doesn't come with that strain relief. But it's pretty good. I like it. I like the um, how it feels in the hand, and it's actually got a nice short tip to distance. It's designed pretty well. The cable's actually pretty good too as well. Now to show you the picture of what was wrong with the original one that I had to do because this is how it came. And as you can see there, that wire was just way too long so I had to cut it right around here and then bring everything up this way here. And then I just wrapped this whole thing up to here with heat shrink and then I went ahead and screwed everything back together. And now it's perfect. So. But this is how it came originally. Now the soldering wasn't bad. It's just that this cable here was just way too long and it was sticking out to the strain relief. And the strain relief really wasn't acting as a strain relief. So any pull or anything like that would have broken it. So I went ahead and modified it and it works perfect. Just make sure when you put the heat shrink, don't go past, don't go to this um, plastic body here. Go all the way up just to the connection point because if you don't, it's not going to go into the tube properly. But... This should explain at least somewhat with these metal handles and what you need to do and which ones to avoid and which ones to buy. And here's the plastic handle that actually came with the station. Here's it fully assembled. I figure I'll go and show you what it looks like. And this is the good plastic handle. This is the one I like. I don't like the older style which has the thing where you have to screw it in which actually comes with a lot of cheap solder stations from years ago where it has the plastic right here and then you got the metal sleeve that goes over it to actually secure it because A you can't change the tips quickly and B you don't got a short tip distance to it because it sticks out to right around here and stuff like this so it makes it awkward to solder. I like this shorter distance because you could actually do more precise work with it having that shorter distance. And this handle is pretty good. It got a good strain relief on it. It also has wire tie right here too so you're not tugging on the wires or at least on the connections itself. And the wire goes a little bit about in that far so you got more than enough. It'll work fine. You can also take it apart and also shorten the cables if you want to too as well. The silicone cable is good quality. I mean... The plastic, well it is plastic, but it is what it is. It's only, you know, you can get this handle for about nine bucks. They're pretty cheap. But it does the job. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. And then as far as sliding tips in and out goes, it slides in pretty easy. I didn't have to do nothing to this to actually use that. I actually literally just plugged it in and used it straight like it was out of the box and had no issues with it. Now, of course, you will get a click as you go in there because you're going past the contacts and stuff. But that lets you know, hey, look, you got the tip past there and it's, it's all the way in and stuff like that. It gives you a nice positive click as you're putting the tip in there. So there's nothing wrong with the plastic handle. Most people just want to go and upgrade to the metal one because, you know, A, it's metal. And then B, it has a nicer feel in the hand as you're using it. But other than that... If you're just upgrading because you think the plastic one's junk, these newer ones are not that bad. They're actually pretty usable and they're good.